All right, we are back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast, bringing you our third segment, which is going to be about some uh, some breaking, quote-unquote, baseball news that happened today, which is about Joey Votto signing with the Toronto Blue Jays. Now, Joey Votto had been a hot topic around baseball for a little while now. Um, you know, was is obviously a, a, a legend of the game, future Hall of Famer, uh, one of the most beloved players as well of all time. A guy really nobody in the game hates. I mean, just a stand-up guy, a guy everyone loves. Everyone has a nice thing to say about. So, uh, you know, it was kind of surprising that he was still out there um, on the free agent market, even with how slow this market's moving. You know, we thought, the, thought a lot of teams could uh, could fit for him. We heard the Angels a lot. Um, we had some other teams connected as well. And, you know, he's still out there, so you're wondering who he's going to sign with. Um, and in the end, he signed with the team that I think most people were expecting him to sign with including myself, which is, of course, his hometown, Toronto Blue Jays. Um, so, kind of just some uh, general thoughts on this. I mean, I love it. Just going away from the baseball side of it, just a marketing side and storyline side and a fun side, because we got to look at the fun part here. I mean, this is so cool. Joey Votto, a guy who grew up um, you know, in Canada, was a diehard Blue Jays fan and as a kid, you know, lived 45 minutes from the stadium right now. Um, arguably the, the, the oh, sorry, I don't know what the hell that was. Arguably the greatest um, Canadian baseball player of all time, up there with a lot of people for, you know, up there with a lot of great Canadians for uh, to be the top guy. And uh, him going back to Toronto um, to uh, play his final year there most likely is super, super cool. Um, I love it. I think it's just such a cool thing for right baseball. Um, I think it's a great storyline. You know, I always love it when players go home. Um, you know, not just um, big time, not just players like Vado who's going home at the end of his career, but just players in general going home. You know, I've mentioned it with a few times, like with Blake Snell, maybe potentially going to Seattle because he's, you know, a big Seattle guy going home there. Um, you know, you have uh, some recent examples, I guess, being... Harrison Bader going to uh, the Mets, being from New York. Um, you have Marcus Stroman going to the Yankees, of course. Tyler Glass now going to the Dodgers. Um, you know, you have a, a lot of examples throughout history. I mean, you have, of course, Ricky Henderson going to the A's, being drafted by them. Um, so that was, that was obviously different because he was drafted, but uh, still from Oakland and uh, got, to, uh, got to go back there. So uh, that's also pretty cool. So it's always cool when a player gets to go home, and especially with a guy as public as Joey Votto, a guy who everyone loves like Joey Votto. Um, you know, I think that's I think that's something that's really really cool, and that's really exciting. So um, yeah, definitely definitely something that I'm looking forward to watching. Um, I'm seeing if he can uh, make the roster, which we'll talk about after. And uh, yeah, definitely something that's gonna be on my radar the entire season to uh, see how this works. Um, so Vado himself said, you know, so the deal itself was structured as a non-roster invite and uh, kind of a minor league deal. And um, Vado himself said he does expect to uh, be in the minor leagues to start the year to uh, build up in AAA affiliate of Buffalo and, um, you know, kind of get back to the uh, the action of baseball and kind of the speed of it, because he said when he when he comes back up, he doesn't want to, uh, you know, let it pass him by, and uh, kind of get overwhelmed by it. So uh, I think that's a great, smart veteran thing to do by Votto, and um, just makes a ton of sense. Again, that's why he's one of the best guys. So uh, yeah, hundred percent makes a lot of sense. And uh, of course, a guy who's smart as him would be doing that. Um. Just overall from a baseball side now, because we've talked about the storyline part. We've talked about how fun it is. Um, it's, again, super, super cool. I'm not uh, I'm not denying that, and that's one of the reasons I want to talk about it. Because I believe, I don't think the, I don't think the Blue Jays is signing Joey Votto if he wasn't from Canada. But um, baseball side, I, I actually do think it makes a lot of sense. Um, I think you look at it with um, Brandon Belt. Um, you know, he was a big part of the the. I don't know why I said Dodgers. The uh, Blue Jays team last year, a guy that was a big contributor for them for the DH position, was a big platoon bat against righties, a big first, a big lefty first baseman. We hit righties really well. 
Um, and I think um, Joey Votto can bring that with the Blue Jays, uh, kind of be a replacement to Brandon Belt. In that way, um, you know, as a big lefty first baseman, it's righties fairly well. Also, it's lefties pretty well, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's both fine. Um, so I think he fits in that way as well, kind of fills in the Brandon Belt role because everything we've heard is that Brandon Belt won't be back. Um, so uh, I think he fits in that role well. Um, also, just depth-wise, I think Votto is pretty elite depth for this team. Um, he's not going to be much more than a bench bat, but I think he's going to be a pretty great bench bat. Um, you know, you, you have him off the bench, you guy who can pitch hit in late-game scenarios, can play first base or DH when someone needs a day off. Um, you know, can be a great veteran leader in this clubhouse, which I think the Blue Jays have needed for a little while now. You know, with the recent failures in the playoffs, I think having a veteran leader like this, like a, like a guy like Justin Turner you brought in as well, I think makes a lot of sense. Obviously, Votto hasn't had a lot of uh, experience in the playoffs, not for much of his fault of his own, just that he played his whole career with the Reds before this, and uh, the Reds haven't been that good this uh, this uh, this decade in the 2010s and uh, early 2020s, but they'll be better, obviously, but that's a, that's a different story. But, uh, so yeah, you know, he doesn't really have much playoff experience in that way, but has a lot of veteran experience, you know, knows a lot of people, knows what to do, knows how to do the right thing. I think that's a, a really good thing for the Blue Jays. So baseball-wise, storyline-wise, fun-wise, this is all super cool and uh, something uh, super fun for uh, the game right now and uh, something I'm really looking forward to watching and uh, really, really excited about it. So, uh, yeah, um, an, out an outlook for the Blue Jays right now. Um, you know, I've talked about them a little bit, but I'd like to expand on a little more. Um, right now, you know, I think they are... I think they I think they will make the playoffs, but I don't think it would be by a huge margin, you know. Um, it's just... They didn't improve that much from the season they had where they didn't make the playoffs. Sorry, they did make the playoffs, but got swept again by the Twins who hadn't won the playoff game um, in a long, long time. Um, so uh, that was kind of embarrassing for them, but I guess the Twins had to go against someone, right? Um, so, uh, yeah, um, I, they didn't really improve that much. You know, getting Justin Bur Turner is a nice um, addition. Yario Rodriguez is a nice addition to the pitching staff. Um, again, Joey Votto is nice depth, but they haven't improved that much due to the fact that they are, you know, in the top two of that East, and especially taking over elite teams like the Orioles and the, and the Yankees. So um, I have to make the playoffs right now, but it's not by a huge margin. You know they're in that third. They're in that second tier of teams that are really good, but not elite. Um, you know I talked about them. They're you know bunched in with teams like the Rays, like the Twins, like the Mariners, potentially the Rangers as well. So um, yeah, still a really good team, but could have definitely used some uh, some work. Also, um, I've talked about it a few times again. But um, the underwhelming offseason they've had again. They didn't get bad players. It's just we thought they were gonna get Soto. We thought they would get Otani especially, and they didn't get either, and they got some mid-tier guys. So uh, definitely could have improved more this offseason, but they still overall have a good team. I love their pitching staff. Kevin Gosman is their ace, incredible. Um, you know, guys behind him like Rodriguez, Bassett, of course. You have uh, Jose Barrios, who had a bounce-back season. Um, you know, you have some other guys as well. You have Alec Manoa, who has to be a big part of that depth. Um, so, yeah, overall, I like what the Blue Jets have done. I like their uh, their whole team, but I think they should have improved more this off season. And uh, right now, I have them being uh, I have them being uh, th third in the AL East. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Rays overtake them, just because they are the Rays. They they have some kind of you know voodoo magic or something because they're always good no matter what, and they still have a good team. Um, anyways, so uh, yeah, overall, just those are my thoughts on the Blue Jays. Um, going back to the Votto thing, though, I still love it. Just such a cool thing. We need more of this nice, heartwarming stuff in baseball. So, uh, yeah, definitely excited about it and uh, really excited to watch it. And uh, I am definitely looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, those are my overall thoughts. And uh, we go into our fourth and final segment here, which is going to be about news around the league, which I usually talk about as the fourth and final segment. I didn't talk about it on yesterday's. Um, that's because it just simply wasn't that, many, that much news. So, uh but today there is, so I'll definitely be talking about it. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to that, and I'll, I'll see you after that. So uh, thanks, and uh, see you in a few seconds. Bye.